What's going on? What's going on? Your boy got by 2009. I'm going to see what we're going to get today because if it don't go through today, I'm going to just wait till the week start or whatever. I'll wait till uh, Tuesday or Monday night. So I'm going to see what we got here. See how it's going to go out. What's going on? It's your boy got by 2009. I got another good one for y'all today. And I've been waiting to do this for y'all for a little minute, but I know how things is over the holidays, so I was going to just wait. But I'm going to see how the video start off first, and then I'm going to see how it's going to go. But y'all, please make sure y'all just like as y'all into the chat room. Y'all know how I do. Give me a second to start everything up and get everything lined up like I'm supposed to. I don't know. I might not need all this stuff. I know everybody been so busy today. That's why God might been taking so long to do this video. But I want to see how it's going to be and see if it, if I can get a little a couple of y'all in here today. But I know it's been a lot of stuff going on. So I was, and I know you noticed there's not been a lot of channels doing videos. So I'm trying to see if I can get a couple of y'all in here today. If it's going to be enough to do a video. So just give me a second to put my link in and all that good stuff. Y'all make sure y'all like as y'all enter the chat. I don't know who watching all that good stuff, but I appreciate the support.
Okay, I got four of y'all in here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just mess around with this. And since it's four of y'all watching, I'm going to just do it for four of y'all right quick. So whatever happens, it's whatever. You know, I'll take it down or whatever. But I just want to do something quick for y'all right quick. You know, um, one thing you got to understand when you're dealing with the uh, Scorpio and when you first meet him is you, he's not going to be the, the most talkative person. He's not going to be the most... Uh, sociable person is not because he don't necessarily trust you or he doesn't necessarily like you you know what i'm saying the first thing you gotta understand before you even know this man before you even start dating him or whatever you know yes he is gonna come off as anti-social yes he is a lot of times gonna come off as being dark or being misunderstood and that's because he is used to being on his own uh in his own world so to say and I always tell y'all, yes, he is definitely an introvert, but it's more than that. You know, a lot of times uh, people think that because we're Scorpios or whatever, or water signs, because of all the, the stories they heard and all the myths they heard, they think, oh, we we are all just these antisocial individuals that really don't like being around people. I really don't like really sharing and opening up to people, but that's not the case. You know, um, you got to understand that we he is used to being on the outskirts, you know what I'm saying? When you think about a Scorpio, the first thing you need to understand is that we are the the quote-unquote outcast. We are the quote-unquote black sheep. We are the quote-unquote outsiders, the person that um, is like the eyeball out, you know what I'm saying? And it's not because that we necessarily are the eyeball out, but at times we, uh, hey, Nina, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, and I'm glad you're doing so much better. And, um, and to any of y'all, my moderators or whatever that haven't heard from me, I, you know, I apologize, but it's been a lot, a lot of stress, a lot of uh, stuff going on. So I really love y'all and I really apologize if I haven't been reaching out to y'all like I'm supposed to. But um, you got to understand that he's used to being on in his own, on his own island. He used to being all, you know, almost castrated away from the majority because even from a young age, we're used to being on the the outside. We're used to being the person that's being misunderstood. Even if we have a, a, a house, our family of 10, 20 children, the Scorpio is going to be the one that sticks out. He's going to be the one that's going to be the, the awkward one. He's the one that's going to be the, the one that's extremely different. And like I told y'all in the video that I didn't get to keep up because of all this stuff going on, like I told y'all, like a lot of times, even if a Scorpio comes from a family that with strict, like strict um, traditional values or whatever, the Scorpio man is going to always be. He come from. He can come a family with that everybody was a mailman. Say for instance, everybody was a mailman. All the men was mailman in his family. He'll be the first one to to do something completely different and com uh, completely out the norm of what his family is doing completely out of the norm of what the rest of his brothers and sisters are doing you know you got to understand that a lot of times we're used to being the the uh the bad guy he's used to being the villain and a lot of times when you he first meet people we're used to automatically being judged we're used to automatically being uh uh people you know being taken us as being um different uh people taking us as being you know uh very dark or whatever so we try to not only do we try to fill you out in the beginning we try to give the person time to fill us out you know what i'm saying and understand us and see if they understand us you know what i'm saying because we we are used to being on our own you gotta understand that if he's uh if he seems like he's in his own world or he seems like he's on his own planet sometimes you gotta understand that he's an introvert and not only an introvert, like I said, he used to being outcast. He used to having to do everything by himself. He used to spending the majority of his time by himself. He used to, you know, um, going through hardships by himself. He used to going through uh, pain and suffering by himself. 
he's an introvert in every case of the word. He used to doing everything extremely hard, the extremely, you know, the most difficult way because he's, there's nothing else he's been used to. There's nothing else he's been given to, you know, um, that's why when a lot of times you see the Scorpio man, he's he got a hard exterior. Or you see the Scorpio woman, she has a hard exterior. The real really tough individuals. Let me put this link in right quick. I wasn't gonna really share this, but I'm like, let me go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot because I'm I'm really enjoying this. And that's what I'm that's what it's all about, you know. I'm feeling this one today. So for the few of you that's in here, we're gonna just have some fun today, you know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the video up and all that good stuff, but you know, I put my links up in a little bit and it, I guess I don't know. I guess it's just me and uh, three invisible people and and Nina in here. So okay, since I only see Nina, I'm, I'm gonna just speak to Nina. <laughs> Hopefully, some of my other moderators come in or something. But I guess it's just gonna be me and Nina. So uh, one thing you gotta understand is uh, what up? What's going on, Juan? Four ten. Me, Nina, and Juan. Four ten. <laughs> okay. One thing you got to understand when you first dealing with a Scorpio is we are like, um, we come off just like I told you, we come off as being quiet. He's going to come off as being, uh, not a person that doesn't want to be bothered. And just like I told you, he's not, it's not because he's, um, being, you know, anti social, it's not because he's trying to come off as being strange, but he's an individual that's used to being by itself, you know, um. Uh, whether people realize it or not, nine times out of ten, Scorpio, we we are um, willing to talk to individuals. We are the, willing to open up to individuals, but a lot of times we don't know if our words are being heard. A lot of times we don't know if our words are being understood. So over time, in our lifetime, we we become we become more introverted. You know what I'm saying? Over time, we become more uh, secluded and more to ourselves because of um the energy we get from other people the experiences we we get from other people because a lot of times people are not listening a lot of times people will tone you out a lot of times people fake uh communicate with you a lot of times people uh will listen but they really don't respond to anything you're saying a lot of times you reach out to people and extend a, a certain amount of uh love or a certain amount of good vibrations and you don't get that in return so a lot of times he will keep that to itself a lot of times he will reserve his energy to itself and his his words or uh, uh whatever what's going on good morning Shuri. i was just trying to do a little something for y'all right quick for the few of y'all that's going to check it out because i know it's the holiday the the holiday weekend whatever whatever but i'm gonna still hold it down and do what i got to do for y'all man because I, I love the ones that do support so let me uh do my regular do put my link in like I always do. And I appreciate Nina for um doing that for me also. See, this is what separates the real, to me, this is what separates like the real creators from the people that's just doing it, just the uh, whatever, because, and it's, sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to tell, but you know, I really, I genuinely enjoy doing this for y'all. I, I genuinely try to put my best effort in to make the best stuff for y'all. So I don't even be looking at all that other stuff that most people look at. That's why sometimes I, I just leave a video up there, but the only reason I don't leave it up there, or I do a video a lot of times is because a lot of people will miss it. That's the only reason I don't do it. Because any otherwise, I wouldn't care if it was just one person, I would just leave it up there. But I know most people would 
be upset because they missed it. But I love y'all for the, uh, the ones that are able to catch it. Let me see. I don't know, and Sherry, I don't know if you in here. I don't know who's in here, but if you do have any uh, thing to add to it or any questions, you don't got to be quiet or whatever. I feel like you interrupted. I, I love hearing from y'all, so it's all love. Uh, You know, um, and one thing you got to understand when you meet us is he's used to being the person that's always, um, you know, barricaded on the outside. Because one thing about people when they don't understand you and when you have a, a very different mystique around you or when you're very eccentric, people seem to uh, block you out. When they don't understand you, they seem to judge you. When they don't understand you, they seem to try to sabotage you or try to almost come against you. So a lot of times that's what that's the type of attitude and the type of spirits that the Scorpio is used to. So a lot of times when he approach a new person, a new circumstance, a new situation, we approach it with caution because we we usually already know what's uh, to come. We can usually a Scorpio. One thing about us, we can almost feel out a person. We can almost feel out a person energy as soon as they they can only they can they can just say two sentences to us and we can already understand where they're coming from. I already understand what they're trying to say to us. You know what I'm saying? And you got to understand, like, even if you go through the worst situation with the Scorpio, a lot of times he might come off as unemotional, you know, unemotional or being hardened around the heart. And it's not because he's a hard individual. Yes, he, he does come off as being hard. And yes, it's, it is sometimes it's unfair, but we, we come off as hard because this is the attitude we're used to. We're used to having to... uh you know, barricade ourselves away from people because we're not, these people are not uh, accustomed to our energy. These people are not um, appreciative of our energy, our, our love, our, what we put into it. So a lot of times he's going to already have his wall up because he he's um, protecting himself because he's um, used to being the bad guy. That's why a lot of times y'all ask me like, what's, what's going on with the, uh, you know, my Scorpio man, why do we come off as being... You know, y'all come off as being so hard and, and so mean sometimes. And it can it can even come for cancer man too. It don't just have to be for Scorpio man. It could go for cancer man. It could go for Pisces man as well. It's like why y'all so uh secluded? Why y'all seclude yourselves so much? And I think I'm gonna do a a, a video on water signs. I think y'all really enjoy that. You know, y'all can let me know in the chat. I'm gonna do a sign, I'm gonna do a water sign video all about the water signs. That I think that would be pretty fun for the weekend. But um a lot of times he come off as being mean or, or you know, a certain way because it's, it's just the attitudes that people approach us with. It's just the, the experience that he's go through. You know, that's why when you, because uh, I don't want to miss this point, That's because this is very important and you want to catch this. I want y'all to really listen to this. You know, Scorpios included. You know, a lot of times we come off as being a certain way and it seems unemotional. A lot of times he come off as being ruthless. A lot of times when he gets really angry, he come off as being very mean because you got to understand this is not because he want to take out his frustration on you. It's not because he's a evil, wicked, mean, dark Scorpio man or whatever. It's not because he's this uh, difficult individual. A lot of times it's because he's used to it. He's used to the hostility. He used to the negative energy being thrown at him. He used to being um, thrown to the dogs, uh, thrown to the wolves. He used to being put on a almost a witch hunt and hunted down like a dog in order to for people to uh, understand us. You know what I'm saying? He used to the being the villain. He's used to being the bad guy. He used to being the dark knight, whatever person you know want to call it. He's used to being the bad guy in the story. He's used to being the protagonist in the story. Not, No, not the protagonist, the antagonist. The Scorpio will always be the antagonist in, in a story, in a novel, in a book. You know what I'm saying? We, he's going to be the bad guy. He's going to be the person that's uh, going to be prejudged. He's going to be the person that's not very understood whatsoever. It's 12 of y'all in here. Ain't nobody talking. Where the where is the love? <laughs> I love hearing y'all. I, I appreciate the the uh the silence and the 
y'all paying attention, but y'all can talk and stuff. You know, let me if it, if it ain't nothing but saying hello and let me know where you from. I would appreciate it. If you're a new subscriber, I, I would definitely encourage you to speak and uh, let me know, you know, who you are, whatever, because my channel is very different. I do get a personal uh, touch with my audience and I do try, I do love and appreciate y'all. That's why I'm even doing this video. I ain't doing this video because I, I got to, I feel like I need, like, I love doing this. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all watching. And there's, there's just nothing more, nothing less. I'm walking to get some smoothie. Oh, get a smoothie. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Okay, hey, uh, Miss Scorpio lady. Yeah, Miss Scorpio lady. This video is. I'm talking about how we are the black sheep. How Scorpio is is the is going to always be the man. How we're going to always be the the person that's in the uh, the wrong. We always going to be the person that's that's going to be picked and chosen to be the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I know a lot of Scorpios deal with this. And when, when you're dealing with this as a Scorpio man or a Scorpio woman, like, you know, you have to you have to learn to, that's why we learn to um, choose people wisely. That's why we learn to not try to blend into everybody. This, and I'm trying to teach y'all our habits and why we do certain things. This is why we don't uh, try to click with everybody. This is why we don't try to make a bunch of friends. This is why we don't try to, make everybody understand us because we're used to being, we have, we got a type of individuals that we don't sit there and cry and, and, and whine and, and complain. We sit there, we'll, he's the type that will wear the bad guy badge right on his, right on his uh chest. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be the bad guy. I'll, you can, you can make the title, you can put it in bold letters, you can put it in cursive. You can you can do all that type of stuff. We we will play. We will gladly play the bad guy. We will play, gladly play the scapegoat because most likely he's used to it. Most likely he's been that way since a child. Most likely he's always been the misfit. He's going to always be the, the the troubled child. You know, Scorpio is is the type. He's the type to be a problem child. He's the type to be the the rebellious child. He's the type to be seen as being the crazy one he's the type is the, the one that being seen as being the uh the one that's that's just hard hit you, you think about the scorpio you got to think about uh think about people the rappers like odb think about uh you know people that just stood out you know what i'm saying think about even rodney uh dangerfield i might be saying it wrong rodney i think his name was rodney dangerfield the comedian even out of the comedians he was he was very distinctive he was very different he was always saying, you know, uh, what was his what was his slogan that he always said? Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, he's uh, nobody likes me. Uh, what what is he saying? <laughs> I can't think of it. But he was like, how nobody likes him. He never gets no respect. You know what I'm saying? That that's definitely a Scorpio slogan. You're like, you know, I never get no respect, and he got plenty of respect. But he, he said it in a funny way because we're always being. We, he's gonna always be the one as being seen as being the the one that's gonna be left out the crowd you know what I'm saying? and scorpio we he almost imprint that in our brain even if it's not actually going on scorpio we always have that imprint no matter where we go because if you stay ready you don't have to get ready you know what i'm saying if you stay expecting people to keep you on the outside then you won't get your feelings hurt if you stay expecting people to to always blame stuff on you then you won't get your feelings hurt if you don't if you already have your your spirit set to be uh a loner or be set across by yourself you won't have to be you won't have to build up the strength to be by yourself you are you already have the strength to be by yourself whether your whole family turn their back on you or uh, your wife leave you whatever like a scorpio has this unbreakable spirit because we're used to, we already set in that mode. We're already setting that strength. We're, we already cut that switch on in our brain where, okay, I will be hated. Okay, people won't accept me. Okay, people don't understand me. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm different. Okay, I stick out like a sore thumb. It's just something, it took me years to understand. It took me years to, under, to wear it. Now I can wear it with grace. Just like a lot of you come and tell me, you know, you got to wear your crown, God, body. You gotta, you gotta uh, keep your journey. You gotta hold your head up, God body. You gotta, you gotta uh, be happy. You gotta smile sometimes, God body, because. But people don't understand is 
I'm so used to being the the uh, the war. You know, there's nothing wrong with being the warrior, but I'm so used to being the the uh, opposing figure. I'm so used to being having to be combative with people. I'm so used to having people uh, being argumentative. I'm so used to being uh, the villain. I'm so used to being a scapegoat in every situation, even if my intentions were good. And this is how a lot of Scorpios see things. And this is why a lot of times they back away from people. This is why a lot of times they get um, the feeling that they're not wanted. They get the feeling that they're not needed very quickly more than others because a lot of times we are scapegoated. A lot of times we are the enemy. A lot of times we are hated. A lot of times people... Uh, they will judge us before they even have a sentence with us. They will frown at us and ball their face up before they even shake our hands and, and, you know, get to understand us, man. You know, a lot of people don't understand. We very good hearted, warm hearted people, very understanding, you know, very intelligent individuals, but we become harder over time because of the experience, because of what people give to us, because I feel like life is more than just, you know, uh, this and that, you know, uh, gain a, a material or whatever is like it's the experiences that make up the the life that makes the life you know what i'm saying it's the events and the things you go through that makes the life you know what i'm saying so if you're going through the events of life and you you dealing with hatred and you dealing with with malice you dealing with jealousy you dealing with envy you dealing with wickedness what type of energy what type of attitude is that person going to have um when they're giving that 99 percent of the day when they're giving that 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 uh, dark energy 99% of the time even when they're trying to be uh, optimistic even when they're trying to keep a, a positive outlook on life how positive can the individual be when they're in the midst of darkness you know what I'm saying you, it, ha it has to be something internal you know what I'm saying that, that, that lights up in you that keeps you smiling it, you have to have something spiritual in you that keeps you going you know what I'm saying because if you look for people, if you look for a material item, if you look for a group, if you look for a, a entity or whatever it is, it's, it's not going to last. It's only going to be temporary. Not saying love can't last or a relationship can't last for a long time, but if if you look if you look for that to always be your inner strength, then that's it's going to it's going to break you. You know what I'm saying? And so Scorpio, he's he used to we almost build this brick wall around ourselves to hold ourselves up strong because we feel like in the Scorpio man, uh, in, in the Scorpio females man, we are, you know, just like Nino Brown said, we are all we got. We we are our, our own best friend. We are our, our bodyguards. We are our consultants. We are our, <laughs> we, we, we do, we, we hold ourselves down. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times you won't see a Scorpio with a big circle because He's learned, most likely he's learned to uh, to almost to care for himself almost a hundred thousand percent because we start from a very early age, you know what I'm saying? And y'all make sure y'all like as y'all enter, this turned out a lot better than I, I you know, expect that sometimes you just got to give it y'all, you know? Hey, uh, Divine Destiny, what's going on? What's going on, Von Walker? Y'all let me know where y'all from too. If I if y'all new or whatever, uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Let me know where you from and all that good stuff. I deal with this, but it's usually because I'm too nice and agreeable. I'm so I'm trying to learn to accept my true nature and not caring what others think. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, they're going to true to count you out so you make them count you in absolutely hey sky 11 hook what's going on thank you so much for coming in i really appreciate the love thank you from georgia okay okay peace to, much love to georgia i love georgia absolutely i love georgia let me see you know a lot of times um And a lot of times it's because Scorpio, a lot of times I told you he ages in dog years, especially in maturity and his mindset. So a lot of times he, he even at the age of 13 years old, he can come off as a, a 32 year old man with in his mindset, not only in his mindset, but because, you know, a lot of kids, a lot of younger uh, 
once act older, you know, but they, they don't have it what it takes. But the Scorpio is the type to, to do the response, take the responsibilities as a mature, older person with the older mindset and have that mindset in his mentality as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing for a Scorpio to, even before he's old enough to work, to start cutting grass, to start chopping trees down, start sweeping up storefronts, trying to cut hair, trying to do all types of stuff. Because at an early age, we instill ourselves that, hey, if I don't do it, I might, I might go without, I might not have that shirt. Uh, if I don't do it, I might not be able to eat breakfast tomorrow. If I don't do it, I might not be able to have enough to get home tomorrow. So a lot of times, Scorpio, we even as a young child, we we are given a lot of enormous responsibilities at an early age, which give us gives him that 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 type of thing where he's used to being by himself, where he used to playing solitaire. I should have played. It's a good title. It's a, this video is a good title, but I just wanted to make sure it matched the video. You know what I'm saying? But this is why he might come off as being uh, distant. This is why he might look at you with a sad eye. This is why at times he might seem like he's kind of um, on his, you know, kind of like he's with you, but he's kind of, you know, all over the place because he's used to being by himself. He's used to being deserted. He's used to, not like used to like people, everybody dog the Scorpio out, or like a lot of bad stuff just happened to the Scorpio, but it's like a Scorpio, we He's going to all, we are extremists. You got to understand, Scorpio, we are extremists. We are very much overthinkers. So we he's going to always have his mindset on emergency mode. He's going to always have his mindset on worst case scenario. You know, and as we grow over time, we start to become a lot better with that. As, you know, as we mature, as we, you know, start to spread our wings and, you know, travel and do stuff, we start to see that it is people that we can connect to, but... They're spread across the world. They spread all over the place. We're not going to find too many people in one area that can get understand the Scorpio. We're not going to find too many people, period, that can understand Scorpio. So it, it's a lot. It takes us a lot of time to understand that. So he's not trying to uh, come off as being difficult. We're not trying to. You know, I'm not saying all the Scorpios because I don't know every Scorpio, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm speaking from my experience and from who, you know how I am. Like, um, where he's used to being, he's already put himself in a mindset of it's crazy. So you on the Scorpio channel, so don't 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 you know get it, you know blow it out of proportion. But I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna explain something to you. A lot of people gonna miss this because I'm hitting some good points on this video. A lot of people gonna miss this. Are uh, they gonna catch it later? Some uh, but. A lot of times, Scorpio, we put ourselves in the worst case scenario. He's he's going to look at things in the most extreme way. Like he already put himself in a mindset where a person would do the worst thing, or uh, put himself in the work in the mindset of the worst pain to already be prepared for the worst to uh, uh, people to turn on him, or uh, people to to do him wrong, or uh, people to to not be there with him. He's already so when when you have an attitude with him, when you snap on him, when you threaten to leave, when you do that, when you um act distant like you're gonna leave, or uh, when you when you act like you don't wanna be it's like he's already it's like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Oh, you now you're gonna oh you wanna leave now? Okay, it's because he's gonna come off as being nonchalant. He's gonna come off very cold, he's gonna come off very unemotional because he's already prepared himself. In his mind, he already seen, in his mind, he's already seen you doing that. In his mind, he's already seen you desert him. In his mind, he's already seen you uh, turn your back on him because he he. And and that's mad. I'm not saying all people are like this. Y'all gotta understand. I'm just doing. I'm I'm explaining to this y'all in retrospect. I'm not saying this like God, but he still think like this. But I want y'all to think in retrospect. So think you know think outside the box. So I'm, I'm giving y'all some real. Like he, we already put ourselves in that that sense of pain because we already have our in our minds, especially in our early stages. We already see people. We already got people figured out. We already 
see how people are. We already understand the nature of people. We understand people are very self-indulgent. We understand people are very selfish. We understand that people will do any given thing in the right emotion, the right time, in the right situation. And we understand that most people are not, not strong. Most people are not, uh, don't have unconditional love in their heart. Most people don't have the stability to hold up a wooden table with a stick. They 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 they, they couldn't they couldn't hold up a table made of straw with with uh with a stick. You know what I'm saying? They they don't have the stability. It's just not in them. It's just not in uh, the majority of people. They don't have that that strength to hold a relationship together. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that the energy to think outside the box because it's easier to think in the in in the mass of the herd than to be an individual thinker. It's easier to blend in with the crowd than to to separate from the crowd and be a strong individual and be a leader. It's easier to go by what people uh what what your friends and, and family spoon feeds you than to think for yourself and then be a strong individual and 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 stand up for for you know, stand up for things you believe and things that you learn, things that you know that are right. You know what I'm saying? So we we already have us we already have this kind of kind of uh deflect thing going on when it comes to people because we already see it coming. Even though it's it might not even be a hundred miles away like a Scorpio, we already even if it's not right now from our face, it could be a hundred miles away. We can already see. Okay, if if you def, if you prove us wrong or you prove those points wrong, that's when you really grown into the heart of Scorpio. That's when you really got to the point where he's going to really, really love you and really honest because he you proved him wrong. You proved everything that and you proved all the stereotypes that Scorpio got in his head of people. You proved it wrong. You know what I'm saying. Uh, what's the worst that can happen? My mind, time to die. <laughs> uh, then what's the worst? Can My mind. <laughs> uh, I'm just reading what Juan's saying. Hey, Zach. Hey, uh, Zachas Clark. Live from Miami. Okay, that's what's good. How are you? I'm in Michigan. Okay, what's going on? C1 Honey Bun. I thought you was a dude for a minute. I was like, I don't want no dude named Honey Bun in the chat. Okay, my Mr. Honey. I'm about to say Mr. Honey Bun. I'm going to be watching you, Mr. Honey Bun. <laughs> you sound you sound kind of sketchy, Mr. Honey Bun. Because I, I, don't, I don't need no uh, 50, 50 year old dude named Honey Bun in the chat room. <laughs> I, I'm just messing with you, but it's much love to you. You don't need no no dudes named Honey Bun. It's kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy. You know, um, just like even even we when I uh, grew my head, like everything Scorpio do, we 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 already know it's going to always be extra scrutiny with everything we say. We already know it's going to always be extra scrutiny. With everything we do, and that's why Scorpio. That's why we don't. He don't like to build relations with people that don't understand him. Any you know, any less than a hundred percent. If you if you like falling short of really taking that time to really get to know him, if you if he feel like he's always got to fill in the blanks, or he feel like it's always a certain patch, he's going to start becoming distance because that's what he used to. He's used to having to take the the high road. He's used to having he used to have in the, uh, you know, lift the, carry the burden. You know how the old people would say, carry the burden or whatever. Like, he's used to that. So, and the Scorpio woman, she's used to that. That's why a lot of times, a lot of Scorpio women had this almost edgy kind of um, thing with them because it's just like, they, they're used to people being full of it. they used to, she's used to uh, seeing people showing facade she used to seeing especially i know it's worse with women because women are really good at wearing masquerades and i know it probably makes scorpio women really cringy and really 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 stick away from a lot of females but a lot of uh, scorpio women really um hate 
of trying to blend in, because, not because they don't like people, not because they don't, they feel they better than everybody, but because they and they know it's going to be nothing but a, a, a tussle. It's nothing. It's going to be nothing but a enormous headache because they're going to find themselves battling with people continuously. They're going to find themselves um, getting into disputes over silly, silly petty mess. They're going to find themselves getting there, uh, having to snatch knives out their back because every five seconds they turn around. Their fake friends, our fake loved ones, are trying to uh, drain them, and you know, slit their throat. So, a Scorpio woman, she's going to be a lot more apprehensive because, you know, it's a lot more wicked for the women when it comes to you know watching out for their friends and things like that. So, she's used to being the unpopular chick. She's used to being the hated chick. She's used to being the person that nobody want. You know, that, you know. Uh, it's like it's it's crazy. It's like people. It's it's never a uh, uh, in between with us, you know. When it comes to people and individuals, it's like either people. It's like either people are really really fake. Uh, people are really all the way real. It's no in between. It's no patching it up. It's no faking it. It's no filling in. And uh, like Scorpio Sun would say, sometimes it's no fluffing it. It's no puffing it. You know, it's no smiley facing it, coloring it in. Is either you love the person and you can ride with them to the end, or either you hanging on the back of the bumper, you know, just just you know faking the funk. You know what I'm saying? Either you, either you real like the holy field, are you faker? You know, are you faker than the two dollar bill with with Samuel Jackson on it? You know what I'm saying? You, it's not gonna be no in between. Either you are authentic, or either you artificial. You know what I'm saying? It's it's no in but it's no fake. It's no being no halfway real. There's no being no halfway genuine. There's no being no halfway loving sometimes. And, and then it uh, depends on what mood swing you in. We Scorpio, we keep people like that from around us because we know that's a facade. We know that's shallow. We know that's seasonal. We know that's time wasting. We know that's energy draining. So we only going to want people that totally going to take time with us. That's going to totally understand us. That's going to be totally... Yeah, just like Divine said, uh, that's going to be totally loyal to us. And uh, let me also put my other link in right quick if y'all want to uh, show some love and all that good stuff. And I'm going to also put my uh, my Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. I'm going to put my link in. Do y'all want me to do a water sign video in a little bit? I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a water sign video for y'all. I, I, I might wait till Monday, man, because I know it's going to be slow today. I'm, I'm going to wait till Monday, but best believe I got something good for y'all. Uh, this is my link right here. Y'all don't forget to show some love. Make sure you like the video when you get a chance and you can hit me up on Instagram at uh, God Body. Oh, let me see. God Body underscore. Uh, let me see. And you can hit me up at Godbody underscore on Instagram. And you can send me, follow me. Hey, Chi Chi AC. I hope all is well. Where, where you from, Chi Chi? Hey, in the house. Hey, y'all. Love in the house. Darkness and abundance of light shine. The light, Godbody. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. Let me see. See, I, I press through for y'all, man. That's why I be telling y'all, y'all show me some love because it is greatly appreciated. I try to pull out my best for y'all. And I'm about to read the chat, so don't, don't worry. I'm about to get back to the chat. This. Uh-oh. Y'all can still see me and everything? 
Oh, oh man. Oh my. <laughs> Sound like Alice. Oh my. Oh, okay. I, I, okay, I understand, Destiny, I, and I appreciate you showing the love when you uh, finish the video. When I finish the video, I appreciate that. From Trinidad, okay, from Trinidad to Beck, Tobago, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I had a friend from uh, Trinidad. I, I got a friend from Trinidad. I had a female friend from Trinidad and a male. Uh, that's my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? He in, you know, he in Philly and all that. He's he's a photographer. Actually, he he does. He does, he's a wonderful photographer, you know what I'm saying? So much love to Trinidad, much love to the Caribbeans and everybody in the islands, you know, big up always, you know. Hey, Passion Ruby, what's going on? I'm just talking about the black sheep of the Scorpio, understanding the, the personality and the, the inner soul of the Scorpio because a lot of people don't uh, understand that he's used to being the bad guy. He's used to being the person that everybody hates. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times during our earlier stages of life, whether it's a child or a teenager, Scorpio, we we are the child that's always having a fight. We got the child that's always in the room quiet by ourselves, that's ostracized because we're different, because we're eccentric, because when everybody's uh, dancing, like when all the other kids, five-year-olds or three-year-olds were, dancing in the Barney and, uh, you know, all this stuff. I'm looking at, you know, all types of, you know, documentaries. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, in living color. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, you know, the Martin show. I'm looking at adult stuff that I'm really, <laughs> really not supposed to be looking at. I'm looking at, you know, like a three-year-old, five-year-old kid looking at just weird stuff that's not really age appropriate. You know what I'm saying? So, He's used to being on an island by himself. He's used to being um, secluded. He's used to being an individual that's that's um, looked at as being the enemy. So a lot of times the Scorpio comes off as being combative. A lot of times he might come off and, and, and you know, it might seem like, oh, my God, like, why is he so over the top? Sometimes it might seem like the Scorpio is over the top. It might seem like he's highly enraged. It might seem like he's going through... Uh, uh, a meltdown because he's so used to being the enemy. He's we're used to. We're, it's not that he. It's, it's not even that. Passion Ruby. It's like we're used to not having to tell nobody anything. We're used to not being having to trust nobody because most people are not um, used. To, most people are not to be trusted. Most people are not loyal. So he's he's used to keeping stuff to himself. So when he finally finds somebody that he can do that and he can um, have understand him, he's closed off, you know what I'm saying, because he's already been conditioned to be by himself. He's already been conditioned to be alone. So always understand that deep inside the Scorpio, he's loving, he's he does have a big heart. He is, you know, intro, he's introverted, but he will open up and be social and, you know, and you know, connect with you once he get to know you. But just understand that he's used to being a certain mode. He's used to being in a certain mindset. He used to having to be tough in order to survive and all that good stuff. In order to just be him, not even just to survive, just just for us being us. A lot of times we have to just stand firm. A lot of times we have to go through a whole doggone battle just to, you know, be able to speak our minds because people don't understand this. People are, are, you know, from an early age are trying to keep us under their thumb or keep us under their elbow. So a lot of times Scorpio, he will become very agitated when little things might trigger him. When you, when you might make an accident and, uh, you know, you know, just do something simple and it might trigger him into that mode because he might he might come off as an individual that's not taking it seriously. 
you might come off as an individual that might is that's trying to uh, knock him off his pivot. Uh, hook up, hook. I'm going well. Um, it's baking day, so my house is hot. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's baking day. Mm. But I love y'all. You know, I really appreciate all the love. Thank you so much for everybody who came into the chat, everybody who's enjoying the video, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if there's any more questions or anything anybody else had to add to the video. Thank you so much, Nina, Sky 11 Hook. You know, uh, I know if I do a video tonight, I will, you know, let y'all know. Oh, you know, and y'all just stick by, you know, and stick through. I love y'all, man. I really appreciate all the love. You know, I can really, let me see. No, I ain't seen nobody say nothing yet. So I guess it's good to go. Yeah, but I love y'all. You know, I really appreciate y'all. Mm, big kiss, you know what I'm saying? Um, I love y'all from all my hearts, man. I really appreciate it. You know, pounds to all my brothers, Juan. Thank you so much. You know, for those who who keep who's going to deny the truth. Yeah, you right about that. That's you right about that, divine. And I love y'all, man. Just make sure you like, subscribe. You know, uh, hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you show me some love and donate if you can. I put my link in there, and I will see y'all soon. So we'll see how this goes, and I will see y'all later on. Peace.